tell me why there was a little delivery slip in the mailbox that is on the street that said that there was nowhere safe or no one um, there to receive the package. Hey y'all, it's Hadassah back with another video. If you're new here, welcome. I make videos related to luxury, fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. So if you're interested in that type of content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and join the family. And if you are not new here, I found something I've been looking for for a while now. And if you follow me over on Instagram, you've seen me talk about this item as well. So I have been on the hunt for a purple bag. Now you might say, Hadassah, you have purple bags. And to that I would say, mind your business. <laughs> okay, no, I do have purple bags. But I was looking for a purple bag that could be the purple bag of my collection. You'll see what I'm talking about in a second. So I finally found this bag. So if y'all recall, I did an unboxing video. Hold on. I did an unboxing video last year, possibly the year before. Who knows? Um, I did an unboxing video before of this gorgeous bag right here. I mean, it's pink. I said I loved it. I still love, love this bag. Statement bag, okay? The chain, chef's kiss. So, if you remember from that video, I said that I actually saw a like a royal purple um, or a purple version of this bag. And it was not a price that I wanted to pay. So I didn't get it. <laughs> so, but this was the price that I was willing to pay. So I got this one instead. Now, in my hunting around on the internet, as one does, I was able to find a purple bag. And this is what I found. I found the bag in purple. <laughs> so, if you recall, once again, from my original video talking about the pink bag, these bags are sold out everywhere. You're not about to find them. I had a couple of links in my bio at the time because it was sale season, and that's why I was able to get the other one for a good price. Now, completely gone. I actually, this bag caused me to make my first Poshmark purchase. So usually for all of my pre-loved items, I do eBay or I do um, Fashion File once from Rebag, I think. Never ordered from Poshmark before. I actually saw this bag on eBay first. That's what happened. I was looking for this. I saw this bag on eBay and I tried to make an offer on it. And y'all, the seller didn't respond. Like, they, I don't know, they had their eBay settings set up differently, so they were, like, rejecting my offers. Meanwhile, I saw over on Poshmark, they had a conversation with the lady talking about, you know, the lowest price they would accept. So I was like, I know that they will accept this price because they said it in their conversations over on Poshmark. So you know what I did? I took my happy behind over to Poshmark, made them the offer, and they, like, immediately accepted it in, like, five minutes. So... That's how I was able to get this gorgeous purple version. So, I don't know. I've had this conversation with y'all before. I know I'm not the only one who buys multiples. I don't have a lot of multiples. I'm looking at my bag over here. I don't have a lot of multiples. Y'all know I do have two speedies. I'm telling stories. I have three speedies. I have two speedy 30s, one in Damien Ben, one in the, that's multicolor noir. And I have a speedy 40. That's a birthday bag that I got beginning of last year, I think. Possibly the year before. So, I have three speedies. I have three medium tail far bags. So, I don't, I don't have a problem buying multiples. But this, this is like a multiple of a statement bag. So, like, it's double the fun. Because once again, you have to change. Now, this one, like I said, because it was pre-owned, it... It was, it's pre-owned, but it's actually like new. So 
the guy said that he actually got it from, I don't think it was a sax. I think he said he got it from like a sax off fifth and they were, um, had it like on clearance there so the strap was gone y'all know how it is sometimes at these outlet locations the strap was gone but y'all know i also don't wear the strap so hadassah did not care um, as long as it had this statement chain right here and once again you have the beautiful gold hardware but this one actually has like silver inside of the gold if you can see that but yeah other than that i mean it's in really good condition because um, it was, it, like it even came with the little care booklet and whatnot. I think there is like a mark that I think they made at the store so that it couldn't be returned for full price. And once again, we know they do those types of things at stores, but I am so happy <laughs> that I have this bag in my collection. Like I love carrying the pink version and now when the pink version doesn't work, I can just carry the purple version. Like, this is perfect. Because how gorgeous are these? And the fact that I now have two of these, y'all, I'm so happy. So, so happy. Like, my hunt for the perfect purple bag is over with this. Love, love, love. Okay, so now that we've discussed, like, my dream purple bag, let's talk about the other purple bags that I do have that did not completely satisfy my itch for purple. So I think the first, I'm looking, I think the first purple bag was this in systemic racism tote. This is of course from Brandon Blackwood. And I believe these were out, was it like 2020? I wanna say sometime around there. Love this purple. This is also a beautiful, beautiful purple. It does have silver hardware on the front that says in systemic racism. This one also came with a strap. Yeah, I keep it tucked in here when I'm not carrying it. Still literally wrapped up. When I tell y'all I don't use straps, I don't use straps. Like it's literally, I have never opened this. So, but yeah, this one, super cute. Love her. She wasn't the perfect purple bag for me she's an occasion bag you know as you can see she's she's little she's not gonna fit everything but that's okay she serves her purpose when i need to wear her then i think my next purple bag was this pillow tabby 18 which can we talk about like how this had its own moment still love this she's still a vibe um what was this color called vintage purple this color was called vintage purple so that's why she didn't satisfy my purple itch because i was looking for something that was more of a royal purple but once again she's still a nice purple to have in my collection as well and like this bag still like how many years has it been i think it's been almost four years she's so squishy and soft and still in great condition just in case you were wondering and then my final purple bag, I am including this one in my purple bags. I know it, it has white on it. It's a purple and white checker. She fits in a purple bag category. This is the mini Kendrick trunk from Brandon, Brandon, from Brandon Blackwood. And she is gorgeous. When I got this one, I did a poll over on Instagram to see which one y'all thought I got, whether it's the black and white checkered or the purple and white checkered. Y'all were wrong. <laughs> Thought it was the black and white. But I wanted, I needed something different. Y'all know me. I needed something different. So I got the purple and white checker. Y'all, this bag is so good. Once again, fits nothing. Nothing. You know, just holds, you know, your patience. Probably some Tic Tacs. Um, yeah, it, it holds a card case. A key. You can carry your keys in it for real. But no phones. No phones going this at all. So, yeah, that's why also why she couldn't be my perfect purple bag. But this one, this is probably, honestly, I think this is number two. I think this is number two. So, I only have four purple bags, I think. Yeah, I think this wraps up my purple bag collection. But this one is definitely number two. Like, the purple and white and the gold hardware, like, automatically, she is winning. But, once again, number one 
and the bag to end my chase for the perfect purple bag ends right here like it's a nice vibrant purple y'all know I don't like a lot of pastels because that's just not me um and so that's why I was looking for a purple that was actually purple and gold hardware like you cannot beat this at all. I literally still have the tag on it. I got it not long ago. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all the whole story about this bag. Oh my gosh. So, they, let me tell y'all about my Poshmark experience. So, I made the offer to the guy. And anything over, I think it's what, $500, they ship it to Poshmark headquarters to be authenticated. So they shipped this, um, it got to them pretty quickly, I wanna say in like two days. And they authenticated it in like a day, and then it was on its way to me. So they require a signature. Great. What's not great, they also ship USPS. Y'all know how I feel about USPS. They are, honestly at this point, they're on the same level as FedEx. In my opinion, they are both equally the worst carriers, like possible that that could exist. <laughs> so keep in mind, y'all, I work from home. OK, and I know y'all don't know what my house looks like, but I work upstairs directly in front of the stairs, which are directly in front of the door. So that means. I can hear even when someone steps a foot in front of my door. On top of that, I have two doorbell cameras in front of my door. Don't ask me why I got two. Just know I have two doorbell cameras in front of my door. I also have a outdoor camera overlooking my front yard. And when I tell y'all, all of these cameras are set to their more sensitive settings. So, if you so much as step foot on the sidewalk in front of my house, it will get picked up by the doorbell camera and it will be and it will get picked up by the outdoor camera that's overlooking the entire front yard. That's how sensitive they are. So, I got the notification, you know, that the package was out for delivery, and I was like, "Cool, I'm going to be home. No problem. I can sign for it." Keeping in mind, the mail here usually comes around 10 30 in the morning but 10 30 came and went and i was like man i haven't heard anybody at the door so i kept working you know but then when it was like 11 50 i was like there's no way i was like there's no way that they haven't come yet i was like maybe they just left it but once again i got no notifications of anything so i walk downstairs and i go outside i walk out to the mailbox Y'all, when I tell y'all, immediately heat it. Tell me why there was a little delivery slip in the mailbox that is on the street that said that there was nowhere safe or no one um, there to receive the package. Y'all, when I tell y'all I was mad, I literally immediately called USPS. I called the corporate office, talked to somebody, called two of the local offices here in the area. Nobody answered the phone. So I decided to drive over to USPS and I told them, I was like, I got this delivery slip, but no one attempted to deliver my package. I said, I work from home. I have two doorbell cameras. You can pick which one you want to ring. If you want to ring one, you can knock on the door if you want to. But regardless, First, you have to step foot on the sidewalk to begin walking up to my front door. I said, nobody step foot on the sidewalk because one of my three cameras that are looking at the sidewalk would have picked it up. Nothing was picked up. And I said, plus this little delivery slip, it has like the little sticky stuff on the back. You know why? Because they're supposed to stick it on your front door if they actually attempt to deliver it and they're unable to wasn't on my front door though it was in the mailbox which was out on the street which further proves whoever was driving for usps that day just didn't feel like getting out of their vehicle and that's why i don't like them because i get like if you don't want to stand up and walk around a lot probably being a usps driver is your best bet because you just you know 
hang your arm out the window, deliver people's mail. But sometimes, sometimes you are going to have to get your butt up and walk to somebody's front door. And whoever was driving this route that day decided, mm, nope, not doing it, not doing that. And so they didn't. They just went ahead and wrote their little note, stuck it in the mailbox with the rest of my mail, and kept it pushing. So I went to go talk to people at USBS. He went back there and he was like, oh, the truck isn't back yet. But if you come back before five, you know, we should have your package. And I was like, okay. He didn't think I was going to come back, but he didn't know what was in this package, which was my perfect purple bag. So as I was walking out of the USPS door, there was a guy behind me and I heard him starting to tell him like the same story. He was like, yeah, I got this delivery notice. Um, but, and I'm like, see, that's a doggone shame. Because apparently y'all decided not to deliver anybody's packages today and just leaving these little delivery slips with lies on them. So I was a very, very upset about that. <laughs> y'all can't tell. And I'm still upset about it. But anyway, I came back home and then left again. The post office isn't that far from here. So I think I left my house probably at like 445 to get there at like 455, which was before they closed at five. So I walked back in the door and the guy was like, oh, hey, it's you again. He didn't think I was coming back. Sir, don't worry. If nobody was going to be back there, it was going to be Hadassah. Okay. So I handed him the delivery slip again and he went back there, got my package and um, I just signed for it right there with him. But yeah, that's the whole ordeal that I had to go through in order to get this bag. All because USPS does not want to do their job. So with that being said, I am completely satisfied with my purple bag collection now. Although I do love, I do love the color purple. Y'all know what? I would love like an anemone Kelly. I'll pop up a picture. Gorgeous. So I'm not going to say that I'm not going to get any more purple bags because never say never. <laughs> because if I have the opportunity to get an Hermes anemone colored bag, I'm going to take that opportunity and that would then become my number one purple bag. Just being honest, <laughs> that's what would happen at that moment. But right now, Givenchy, this box bag is the number one bag in my collection. But right now, like I said, I'm satisfied with my purple bag collection. As always, thank y'all so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see y'all in my next video.